What do you want? Oh, yes. I'd forgotten about that. These are okay, I guess. Should be able to salvage something from them. If you ever find ore in the future, you can always come and see me. Ideally, when I'm not busy. A blacksmith's work takes focus and concentration. It does not take small talk with customers. When the craft is good, business is good. That's all there is to this trade, and anyone who tells you different is trying to con you. Now, if there's nothing else, I'll carry on with my work. Committed to his work, Paimon will give him that. His temper isn't great, but leave it to him and he'll be able to forge what you need.
Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Add Astra Abyssosk. Welcome. Thank you. 
may knowledge guide you. I will protect you. Rain outlines your fate. Hey, cutie. You're going to help me out, too? How kind of you. Don't hesitate to come to me if you need anything. Hmm. Good question. Well, because Jean trusts me. So you should as well.
I guess I could give this a go. I knew it! There is a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you able to float across? Let's You're ride this wind current, shock. shall we? You're in for a little shock. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. <laughs> Leave it to me. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> It's an Electro Monument. No wonder. Let me try to activate it. A bit of Electro Power. Stand back, sweeties. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Blitz. Surrender and be gentle. When it comes to wet enemies, I've got them covered. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Oh, another wind current. Let's ride it up from here. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> <laughs> Chain lightning can be set off between electrocharged opponents. The electrical discharge caused by friction is only a little less shocking than love at first sight. Gentle. Oh, you want to know about this gem? You're kidding. You're seriously asking? This is a vision. It's used by the Chosen to draw on elemental powers. What? You've never seen a vision? Just where exactly are you from? Are you a hilly churl with some level of reasonable intelligence? No, I doubt it. After all, hilly churls aren't exactly known for their smarts. And you, you'd more or less qualify to be a magister's apprentice. Break it, and we can head home and relax. 
the thought of putting my feet up and relaxing has me all fired up. Dragon of the East, Lion of the South, Wolf of the North, Falcon of the West. They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. The Dragon of the East, Storm Terror, its real name is Dvalin. Though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that in all this Storm Terror business. So now you know why Dvalin is only able to channel three of the four winds power. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Because of hatred, I presume. Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself. To become Storm Terror. But why would one of the four winds... ...hate the city it was supposed to protect? Uh... As a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago. going on about should hopefully be back to normal. Wanna go back and see how the knights are doing? But if you got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. By the way, we obtained another Animoculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? We might come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues.
This is bad. Such a hassle. Oh, thank the Thousand Winds. Your arrival must be the grace of the gods. If I may ask, envoy sent by the Animo God to save this mere mortal, could you spare a moment? Ew, cut it out. Marvelous. I cannot let my peers hear about this. I cannot seek help from anyone else but you. Please. Let us move to somewhere more fit for such conversations. Let's talk in the courtyard, just outside headquarters. Come with me. What's with the sneakiness? This place will do. Tell us what it's about already! How should I begin? Oh, right. Let me tell you a secret first. It's a secret of my past, and I confide in you to keep it. Don't worry, my lips are sealed. As a matter of fact, my grandfather was a pirate. Oh. Wait, why do you sound so blithe? Do you think I'm making it up? Look at my eye patch. I inherited it from my grandfather, and this is solid proof that we are related by blood. My, how could you not know such common knowledge? <laughs> this is no different from children inheriting their hairstyles from their parents. 
Yesterday, I was glancing... Treasure? According to his notes, the treasure is buried in the lost Arcadian ruins. Treasure. But the location of the ruins is currently unknown. I've tried searching for clues. Treasure! Kaya, what kind of treasure is it? Gold? Or better yet, gems? <laughs> treasures that consist of nothing but gold and gems are third-rate treasures. My grandfather's treasure is a sword. A magic sword that grants the wielder unrivaled power. Oh, wow! The sword was dropped from Celestia into the sea by a god. It was later salvaged by my grandfather's crew by pure coincidence. The moment he gripped the sword, thunder roared, billows howled, and the clear skies were suddenly swallowed by raging winds. With the might of the magic sword, my grandfather went on to defeat a hydra, a silver-haired banshee, a wicked abyss dragon. But the immense power of the sword enticed many more greedy pirates. To avoid meaningless conflicts, my grandfather hid the magic sword. These incredibly thrilling adventures are romances that could only be told by pirates. Holy moly! That's just insane! A gang of treasure hoarders has been very active lately, and many ruins have had their relics stolen by them. I'm afraid that they will soon discover the Arcadian ruins, and the magic sword will be lost. We won't let it fall into the wrong hands! We must get the sword before them! You just rest assured that we are here to help! Wow. Great. Please keep it a secret. I'll wait for your good news. Hey, so what you think? Isn't it exciting? We're talking about a super duper powerful sword. Well, let's go to the Adventurers Guild and see if we can find out more. The adventurers should know more about the ruins, right? for something that boring. We are looking for a sword that fell from Celestia. One that can kill eight-headed banshees and silver-haired hydras. 
It's super mega uber powerful! That's what Paimon said! It's a super epic sword! Anyway, it's fine as long as Paimon doesn't tell them the treasure's location. So, Cyrus, do you know where the lost Arcadian ruins are supposed to be? Arcadian ruins? Never heard of them. Thanks for your intel anyway. If you do find these ruins, I'd love to see them. Uh, my intel? Still no clues. Well, it's not like it's gonna be easy. Come on, it's the hiding place of the super amazing sword. Anyway, we should go meet up with Kaya first. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Actually, I have had my eye on you for a long time. You've had your eye on her, eh? Has she been causing some mischief? Oh, that is not what I meant at all. Being on the lookout for great adventurers is part of my job. When I look at you, I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of Legends. Paimon sees it too. Paimon always feels safe adventuring with her. Nevertheless, to the adventurer, experience is far more precious than potential. You must accumulate adventurer experience to increase your adventure rank. Time is of the essence. Allow me to brief you on... Wait, are you saying we're like official adventurers now? Do not worry. The Adventurers Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. In short, there are lots of benefits, but no drawbacks. Basically, the Adventurers Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases. Here is a new member's gift for you. Without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer, into the guild. Here is your adventurer handbook. A new member coming aboard is a momentous occasion. A little ceremony is only fair. It has a record of available commissions and rewards. And it is also proof of your membership. Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition for the world. Impressive feats? Sounds like hazing to me. They are simply specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Ascension adventures, if you will. But that will come later. Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. That will do for today. We will have plenty of chances to meet again in the future. Ad Astra Abyssosk, adventurer. With effort, you shall reach the stars and conquer the abyss.
so delicious. Hum, hum, hum. Good Hunter's Fisherman's Toast is the best. This might surprise you, but it's actually a classic Mondstadt recipe that anyone can cook. You can try cooking it yourself if you have the ingredients. Can your cooking skills surpass that of Good Hunter's? Why, Paima would love to be your personal taster. Don't you let me down. You're back. Do you have news for me? Listen, we asked around the Adventures Guild and found... Well, nothing. <laughs> that much is expected. Why is that? Oh, I only mean that what's the fun in finding it without the hard work? However, I do have some clues. I sent someone to collate black market intel. It seems that someone does know about the Arcadian ruins. Really? Where's the guy? Now, now, as per the Black Market's rules, they will send someone to meet us to prevent leaks. We will be meeting the informant at the Whispering Woods. Then what are we waiting here for? You have my thanks. Of course, you'll be compensated for your troubles. By the Knights. No problem. <laughs> Traveler, I've been looking for you everywhere. How's that wind glider I gave you last time? 
<laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? You gotta have a gliding license to legally glide in Mondstadt. Oh, but we've been gliding for ages now. This is the first we've heard about it. Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone's noticed. <laughs> so, you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way! The Knights of Favonius have strict rules! You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. I gave you your wing glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what acting Grandmaster Jean would say. An exam? <sighs> what a pain in the butt! I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But we do need to respect the rules and glide properly. Here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. Just be familiar with everything in there. For example, only one person per wing glider, no carrying anything over the set weight limit, no taking off using an animal slime, and so on and so forth. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big, thick books, too, when Lisa was teaching me magic. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon thinks we best get started. Great, come find me when you're done. I'll be at Windrise. <sighs> the Knights of Favonius Gliding Manual does not sound like a fun read. When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They asked the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, you have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, What you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Hmm, that's a cool story. But is the knight's gliding manual really written in that? Huh. Anyway, let's go find Amber.